Hi everyone, myself Rajiv Shah and today I'm gonna talk about uh, uh, ISRO exam in detail. And before that, uh, let me introduce myself. Myself uh, Rajiv Shah and I have completed my uh, graduation uh, in 2014. Then I got a uh, campus placement uh, from uh, in uh, Fort Daniel. I worked there for two years. <coughs> Then I decided to get my job and uh, started preparing for GATE 2017 and also uh, for ISRO 2017. <coughs> so fortunately I succeeded and uh, I got a decent rank in uh, GATE exam around 300 and uh, also cracked the ISRO exam uh, with one India 21 rank. So today I am going to uh, give you the brief explanation about this and the detail about this exam and uh, have my experience. I think that might help you to prepare for each note, exam and crack this exam, uh, that's it. Uh, there is no specific syllabus actually in, uh, for the ISRO exam, uh, but uh, based on the previous set questions and uh, the pattern, uh, we can have a guess that uh, the questions and the syllabus are almost similar like the GATE exam. So if you are preparing for GATE exam actually, so you also can uh, have a high chance to crack the ISRO written exam. So just uh, make a note that uh, that you are covering all the all, all the topics and all the syllabus uh, uh, of get exam. Uh, so that might help you in the uh, ISRO written exam. Now the resource and the material. What are the materials you should have and uh, what are the study materials? Uh, and what are the uh, test series and uh, uh, what is the uh, what are the questions you, you should go on to? So first, let me tell you the, uh, the books about the books and uh, uh, and the subjects, the, the important subjects you should have, which you should uh, go on to. Uh, we should have gone through that first skeletal material that is your mechanics and then uh, thermal section that is either thermodynamics and the heat transfer and uh, and, uh, and the fluid mechanics is, it is uh, there are many materials you can get in this uh, ISO uh, from the fluid mechanics and uh, the manufacturing there are very informative questions from the manufacturing okay uh, because this year in 2017 uh, we have we uh, we have some questions uh, from uh, for, from materials okay uh, from uh, non conversion machining these are the theoretical the informative type questions okay so so now uh, nowadays you cannot expect uh, the type of questions because they are they are they are they, they are so good okay they can do anything okay there is a, there is a, you, you cannot predict them but based on the previous set questions you can yes you can you, you, you can make like, outline what are the areas you should uh, cover okay and so that's why uh, that's why the previous questions uh, must uh, it is necessary for all the experience okay uh, for all the skills i mean uh, for the gate exam also gate will prepare some questions and the user prepares some questions these two previous questions are very important uh, very very important but the main uh, difference is because everyone is uh, solving uh, the previous questions okay in their own way but the most most fruitful way is uh, is uh, to understand the questions okay I mean, so let's take a question from the thermodynamics, okay, or the field mechanics, just analyze the questions, okay, uh, like uh, if this data is not given, how to solve that questions, if such, uh, if limits, if the viscosity is not given, then how to find the shear space, if the viscosity is given, if the fluid laminar, then how, 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 can, how can you go for the pressure difference, I mean, this all the area and analysis, if you've done, okay, then it will boost your knowledge and also, the, the speed to get the questions and uh, the most important sector is the mathematics so mathematics uh, is playing an important role not only in gate in easy exam also the questions are very easy and syllabus are also very less compared to gate exam uh, only three, three, three things are there differential equation and then <coughs> laplace and then matrix so not a huge syllabus not a huge uh, a huge one uh, like uh, gate exam a very small, very small portion in mathematics. But if you have uh, proper knowledge and you are able to crack all the mathematics, you are in a good position.
Let me talk about first what is uh, is the exam. Actually, what is uh, how the exam uh, is uh, uh, designed actually. So is the exam it is held actually here uh, and uh, it is uh, actually 80 questions are there and uh, time is only uh, one hour and 30 minutes. So I mean 90 uh, minutes. So you have to answer 80 questions in 90 minutes and it's offline. Exam as you know, everyone knows. It. <coughs> so you have to uh, you have to circle also. So you have to fill the circle also uh, within this 90 minutes. So <coughs> uh, uh, it's it, it's 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 a bit quite difficult to attend uh, 50 plus questions uh, within this minute because uh, the questions are designed in such a way that the limit is it's it's too very difficult to solve uh, uh, with the with calculator. So you have to prepare for this. Uh, I mean, <coughs> you have to. Uh, you, have, you have to practice and practice to, uh, to get that speed with accuracy. So uh, this exam demands the accuracy, speed and the knowledge obviously. So as I, so as I said that these two previous questions are very important and uh, practice it again not only once, okay, as many as you can. I, I practice the previous questions more than three times. So that helps me to get the speed and uh, the accuracy, and uh, and uh, it, it also help you to make your eyes set on the questions because in this exam you should have the you should have that time to analyze and to remember that question. So this question is from that uh, that that portion. You you don't have that uh, time. Okay, you just what you what what you should need that just uh, look at the questions. Then at that instant you should have the idea that oh these questions uh, you have to tell this way. So okay, so these things I think uh, only you can get from the practice. That's why I'm emphasizing the practice and practice and practice. Okay, with the uh, because it helps you to gain the speed. And without speed, okay, you never crack the ISO exam because speed with accuracy is more needed in the ISO exam. But in gate exam nowadays, you can have a look that uh, uh, speed is not necessary because in the gate exam, <coughs> the most important thing is the accuracy only. Okay, because the speed is not a factor. You can, you can have enough time to solve those two number questions, numerical questions. But in easy exam, you don't have that one. So that's what I'm telling you. I'm, I'm just emphasizing that the speed is the main factor, and the accuracy is all obvious. It, it requires, but the speed uh, is uh, it's must must needed things in easy exam. Okay, and the third one is uh, don't stuck with the uh, only one numerical and uh, only one problem. I, I suggest in first go, in, in first go, attend all the theoretical type questions. Okay, in first go, attend all the theoretical type questions because they will uh, need a much much less time. Then go for in, and then in the next phase you go for the limited one. Okay, and if you think that this limited uh, is not uh, going to uh, solve uh, uh, solve uh, with a calculator, then just leave it. Never try this uh, limited. Okay, because sometimes what will happen, you will get stuck with the one meter and the e and the an unknown you are feeling the time. So that's avoid that common mistakes. Don't stop with only don't, don't stop with uh, uh, the, the questions which you are not going oh, we'll able to solve it. Just go forward and attend the next questions. Just mind it one thing. There are also many questions, we are like uh, five or six questions. They are very, very easy to solve, very, very easy. We think each year. You can expect uh, you get uh, you get five or six questions that are very easy, very very easy. So never let them go. That is the thing you should have in your uh, in your mind. So this is all about my experience. I think uh, it might help you uh, your preparation. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can uh, comment here. I will come back to you with answers. Okay, and uh, all the best. Uh, just uh, my, just keep in mind one thing. Okay, uh, this this is not about this is not about this is not about the job. This is the passion. This is not all about the job. Okay, this is the passion uh, because it's a dream job for all the engineers, uh, for all, from all the sectors, from all the disciplines. So just don't take it as a job. Okay, this is a passion, uh, and uh, this is not the uh, opportunity everyone uh, is getting. Uh, so don't miss this opportunity, okay? And uh, prepare very well. Uh, practice it. Practice and practice and practice. These are all the things you should uh, should do right now. And uh, 
the most important thing. I always uh, uh, used to say to my students also that this is not like uh, you are you cannot crack this exam for the because this is the very uh, exam uh, high tough exam and this exam is designed for intellectual intelligent made students not like this okay because let me tell you one thing I am a diploma student I I have done my uh, diploma from a polytechnic college then I did my graduation and then I work for two years then uh, I just uh, decide that okay I will. I will attend this exam and crack it. So I crack this exam because this is not about the uh, I mean uh, the I mean the, uh, the 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 intelligence okay and this is not about of the merit really. because merit is record I know but the practice okay the practice makes you better and better. So believe in yourself, practice harder. I think no one can restrict you. You will crack it. Just believe in yourself because if I can do it. As a diploma engineer, then he can also do it. Just believe in yourself. Okay, practice and practice and practice. That's it. And, uh, and after all, best of luck.